here I am in another reality already. So they were bringing me back. I was literally forced to come back. And as I'm on the ground and they're, they're leaving, lifting off, um, Phaseus, I hear Phaseus in my head because he, he's telepathic. He's strictly telepathic. Um, he said, Alex, turn around. So I turned around. You know, and I'm just crying, and I'm like, oh, God, you're abandoning me. And, <laughs> and he just looked at me, and he said, Alex, the love that you withhold is the pain that you carry lifetime after lifetime. And, folks, there's not a day that goes by I don't remind myself of that or I don't think about that. And it's helped me. reevaluate all the decisions that I've made in my life. It's also helped me to take myself apart and look at all the little particles of my personality. You know, what's mine and what isn't mine? What are belief systems that I just think are true and what is that I've experienced and really is true? And that took a long, long time and, and I'm still not done. You know, you're, you're constantly redoing yourself and making yourself over and reevaluating your belief systems and, you know, our reality here is nothing but belief systems for the most part. And I, I just, you know, I want to pass that on to you because I've made a lot of decisions and I'm sure a lot of you have where your decisions were not based on love and you literally withheld love for some reason, whatever your reason is. And it's time we grow out of that. We have no choice, okay? Shit's about to hit the fan. And it's really all about love and fear. And fear is withholding love. And I'm going to share with you, re, I'm going to read you some things in their own words because they put it far better than I do. Um, Morine has learned to speak English. And there will be a time, probably between, sometime between now and just after 2003, if everything goes well, where he will literally be walking here with us. And he wanted to learn English. And his English is not so good, but you can't blame him for that. You've got to blame me for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I did the best I could. What can I tell you? Um, but <laughs> um, I, I, when they talk to each other, they talk telepathically. And um, their language is holographic, very much like the... Um, ancient Chinese language or the ancient Japanese. They're literally holographs, but you, you, know, you can't just pull them up off the page. And a holographic language is entire concepts like this. So you will just give one symbol, and in that one symbol is maybe 10,000 years of a history or a meaning or a teaching. And um, it's, it's very hard to describe, and it's taken me a long time to try to figure it out. And they were very, very patient in teaching me how to understand their language. And I want to do questions and answers because there's so much locked in my head that I have not tapped into yet. And unless you ask the question or somebody asks the question, it doesn't come up. Okay, so I'm, I'm counting on you to ask some really good questions. And if I don't know, I just, I'll tell you, I don't know. Um, and my conversation with, with Jay-Z, uh, she has a very strong foundation because of her teachings with Rampa. I don't talk the same language. I, I, I'm, I'm really a simple, complicated guy. <laughs> That's mine. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to read this. I was given this on 11-3, just, just a, a week or so ago, almost two weeks. And it's a current up-to-date of where they're at. And anyway, I'll just read this to you. Um, Alex, we have already spoken with you in detail of your racist genetic transfers and reincarnation before. I will mention them again when necessary because your path and happiness depend on being able to attain the truth. Yes, we are aware of the situation of your planet and it shows great deviation of the right path in the sincerity period. But please, if you would try to share this moment and your planet's evolution as a preparation for the investments which will be made in the very near future for your races. 
Now, there's a whole conversation that preempted this. And basically, I had a contact and I went up there with an attitude. <laughs> you know, I'm a Terran. I got extremes of emotions, you know, and, and I'm really frustrated by a lot of things. You know, I don't understand how the planet's supposed to evolve when nobody wants to hear the truth and most of the truth isn't even available. And I'm extremely frustrated by that. You know, uh, and then I hear metaphysicians justify, well, we're teaching the wrong thing, but it's all we have. You know, I, I have a difficult time justifying that. You know, why propagate something that we know isn't real? And that's a whole other issue. When we get to religions, I really want to, like, share with you what I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, this continues. Since the removal of conditions by density technology, your evolution is going to a faster pace, I think you say, than before. We have had to raise the frequency of your planet to move change and enlightenment along. Such a broad word you use, this word enlightenment. It was necessary. This also means great tests of tolerance in situations will be needed by your races. The most important of these tolerances will be caused by delusionary discriminations between your peoples. And folks, this is happening all over the planet, and it's such crap. At, at the present moment, your races are carrying in your DNA genetics the influences of a thousand centuries. As you count rotations, that's, you know, one year, both the positive and negative aspects, please understand we are trying to prepare your races for advanced maturity. At present, many transfers occur in your planet from many different cultures and planes. Each member of the races on and in your planet will naturally exhibit their own mentality. They do and will contradict your habitual cultures. They're very specific about the words they use. In, in fact, you know, I don't even know how they got some of this because I didn't even know some of these phrases. You know, it's like pull it right out of my head and I don't even know it's there. Please do not forget that we have told you about mental conflicts that they cause each to go through tests of maturity. We determine your mentalities through the impulse signals we receive from your race's chains of thoughts. Now the selection of man or woman and the situations they transcend are much more difficult because their preparation of the future is in accordance with their level of consciousness. Alex, you cannot help all your races. Each member of your races will feel their essence in the balancing of positive and negative as they have done, and it will be weighed in their own consciousness. Those who prepare and invest will be prepared for the evolution to another density. The continu continuance of your planet, the continents of your planet is changing very quickly. Please don't confuse our compassion for your races with a love for your planet. Please understand that they are separate with our race. We are neither pleased with your world's riches nor dismayed by its poverty. We, come, we came to here to assist in the period of sincerity, the clarifying of the original intent in all of us in this vadia. The vadia is a tone that they use, and that particular tone means holograph. They've always referred to all of this as a holograph. Because of lineage to your races, we have returned to you. Your world is a place of veiled consciousness. In order to be embodied in physicalness, all frequencies should be assembled in a whole intent. The very distresses, the many anxieties, are the result of conflict with the limitless awareness in your races. This is the reason why your planet races cannot attain your own selves, and yet you desire to possess everything. The reflections of your evolutionary state of physicality cause your races not to live comfortably on your planet. 